Hi, I'm keyboardist Lau Tizer, and you're watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. My dad and mom, being that they were definitely alternative people, uh, my dad had like developed a large collection of world music, all kinds of stuff. Music of the Sufis, Ravi Shankar, like Indian music, Japanese Shakuhachi. He was a big classical music guy. And then they also loved the music of their generation, which was like Elvis and Buddy Holly and Motown and that kind of stuff. me a couple of little things and then when I was just before I turned nine they got me lessons actually the same lady was my first teacher and uh, so yeah I've been playing now for maybe more my age I think 23 years <laughs> manager found me playing there and then I moved out here I guess right after I turned 18 and uh, things happened pretty quickly I came here and I started playing in the Universal Studios and doing I had, I had very good luck I would say in my first year in LA I was young and very green <laughs> my manager brought me here is we were going to do a demo deal, a three-song demo deal. And we went through a couple different producers, but eventually ended up getting referred to Kiele Minucci. Uh, you're probably familiar with him, especially the fact. I was always a solo pianist before that, like composing more in a classical, neoclassical, new age kind of realm. And one of the tunes we ended up doing to like program drums, and that was actually when I first got the idea of, wow, what would we like to start a band? I'd never thought of it before that. I'd always envisioned myself in a different light, and uh, that kind of opened up a whole new path. So I'd say the relocation, I mean, now 15 years later, it's been quite a journey.
just kind of hit it off and like, I don't know, came from maybe similar places musically or his openness to what I was doing and he understood where I was coming from and we just always had a good like musical rapport and have obviously become friends and <clears throat> worked together a, a lot over the last 15 years. He's produced a record and a half for me. We play together a lot live. I occasionally play with special effects. He plays with Tizer a lot. So it's been, that's been a blessing. And after we did that demo deal, like I said, that kind of started the idea of starting a band. Um, I started having rehearsals, or excuse me, auditions for a few people in LA. And uh, ended up choosing a rhythm section and, and met actually the guitarist, Jeff Colton, who isn't here tonight, but it's been a long time. And he's the only original member of the band other than me since 1998. So I met him and, uh, and it's just kind of been a journey since Steve Nieves, who's playing with us tonight, sax and percussion. Vocals. I met Steve in 2001, and then uh, the other chaps later, Rufus, a couple years ago, and Raul played on drums. Uh, from Cuba, by the way. Uh, and Rufus fell flat on bass uh, from England to down to the bone as well. Uh, so it's been kind of an evolution, and the lineup has changed a bit over the years, and it's evolved into something that I think it's quite a group of players. And it uh, makes Karen Briggs in the mix, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. This next tune is called Diversify. This is, uh, there's an album actually called Diversify. This also is on a live record uh, that we put out in summer of 2010. This will feature Miss Karen Briggs. Java Jazz Festival. This was in March of 2010, I believe. And that was the first time that I played the special effects. We actually did three shows there. A show of special effects music in which Karen and I guested, and then a show of Karen's music, and then a show of my music. Uh, and we've done that a few times since, and then this summer, uh, Gailey asked me to do a couple different shows with him in special effects, which was very fun to learn all the material. I mean, I know the music well. I've heard all the CDs for years. He's obviously been like a mentor and big influence on my growth as an artist. Um, so it's it's great to have uh, a synergy like that with someone of that experience and caliber. And it's definitely a blessing. studies with him, he really was the one who kind of opened up the jazz world to me. Um, some of my favorite pianists are you know, like Herbie Hancock, Chick Corea. I love Wooden Kelly for like the more old school, you know, cool, like uh, for kind of blue, that kind of stuff. Um, Michelle Camilo, I love Latin stuff. Uh, and then as far as composers go, I've been influenced greatly by people I've worked with, like Kelly, also the other guitarist, Jeff Coleman. Uh, and you know, guys like Sting, I love Bruce Hornsby. Uh,
the latest project is an album called Ties Are Live, which uh, features the whole cast uh, that you see tonight, plus Kiel uh and Jeff Coleman, who are not here tonight. But Karen Briggs, Raul Panetta, Andre Manga is on the record on bass, and uh, Steve Diabos. It's uh, It really captures the energy and fire of the live show, although it's mostly material from my previous records, one called Golden Soul, which came out in 2001, and one called The First Life, which came out in 2007. But right now, we're actually, tonight, we'll be debuting for the very first time three brand new tunes live. And we're going to be hitting the studio at the beginning of February to record a new record. There is not a title yet, but there will be a new ties record that will include the whole cast and it'll probably be out towards the spring. So I'm, I'm excited to share that music with people and uh, it's, you know, it's been a, a long work in progress. So we're about a month away from this uh, recording session. It's going to be about We've been playing here since I believe 2003 or 2004, probably every two or three months pretty much since then. So I don't know, I mean we played here before it was ever remodeled, I don't know if you were ever here when it was the smaller stage and the smaller bar. So yeah, it dates back a long ways. There, it's a great place, I mean one of the few places around the country that I know of like this that has a great, you know, great jazz following, reaches a large audience over a large metropolitan area, great food, great staff. Uh, they take good care of the artists, and we always have fun playing here, and it's nice to play in L.A. So much of our work is elsewhere, uh, out of the country sometimes, or all across the U.S., so it's nice to play at home and be able to drive a half an hour to a gig, but it's a great place, for sure, and we uh, always appreciate being here. And thank well, first of all, I just want to thank all the people that support this music, not just Tizer and myself, um, but all the people that support contemporary jazz and, and all the different variations there are, but today it's never been more grassroots oriented than it is now, so people like Elements of Jazz TV and Facebook, which you can certainly find me and Tizer on, and all the members of the group. Um, so just appreciate everyone's support, and uh, thank you for coming out and checking out the music, and we hope to see you, for those of you who haven't seen us live, we hope to see you sometime soon.